Hi, this is Trace HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today we will be reviewing Dreaming Way Tarot by Rome Choi. And uh, this is a gorgeous deck. Illustrations are by Quan Sheena, and I hope I'm pronouncing those names correctly. Uh, just your typical card box. Uh, just received these as a gift from my mom. And uh, can't wait to see what the deck looks like. I've seen reviews online, but it's never the same as, you know, when you have the cards in your hands. Uh, I'll be looking at these for the first time as I'm doing the review and showing them to you. Uh, we have this covered in plastic. And, and let me just take this plastic off. I want to be careful not to damage the cards. Sometimes you have one of those little pull tabs, which are really nice, and I would highly recommend them for people creating decks because when you're using scissors or a knife to take the plastic off, you do not want to slice into the cards, and those little pulls are very, very convenient. And inside here we have a very typical guidebook. I'm used to seeing little guidebooks like this, and sometimes this is all you need. Uh, guidebook tells you the major arcana. It's not going to show a picture of the card. It's just going to tell you the fool, the magician, the high priestess, and boy, it is very, very concise. It's going to tell you the upright meaning, the reverse meaning, and of course, it's going to be all 78 cards. Okay, um, this is a beautiful, beautiful artwork. I could just tell now. It reminds me of watercolors, which really drew me in, and uh, it tells you about the author and the artist. And let's first take a look at the backs. Wow, very unique, very different. <laughs> kind of psychedelic. <laughs> I really like the color green. Very different type of artwork there. And um, the cards are average size. They're slender cards. Okay, not too big, not too small. And let's see how they are to shuffle. Very easy to shuffle in my hands. And let's see what they look like. Okay, we have 17, the star, very soft painting type of, of artwork, like a watercolor type of effect, the moon, the sun, judgment. They have a very gentle energy about them, these cards, maybe because of the soft colors, the watercolor type of effect, the worlds, ace of pentacles, very basic, two of pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and I like the expression on his face as he's grasping onto his Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, the sadness. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, and you have your traditional knight on his horse. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, how interesting. He's covered with grapes and grapevines, very different. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands. Some pictures are quite traditional, some are not. Uh, five of Wands, Six of Wands. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. They seem to be very easy to read, these cards. And I like the expressions on the, the faces, the body language, the way they're positioned. I like the colors. The colors are very basic, but very beautiful. King of Wands, Ace of Cups. That's interesting. Polka Dot Cup, Two of Cups, Three of Cups. Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups. These cups are really unique. Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Look at the serious look on his face. And he's uh, atop his little... Uh, thrown here and it looks like there's water surrounding him for the emotion of cups in the water. Ace of Swords, can't get any simpler than that. Two of Swords, very nice. 
three of swords and they're going into her heart. I'm used to seeing like a heart with the three swords piercing it. That is very interesting. And the look on her face, four of swords, five of swords, six of swords. Again, traditional with the boat, you know, the six of swords sailing onward, seven of swords, eight of swords, nine of swords, 10 of swords. Oh my goodness, how devastating is that? Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, the Fool, and there's his dog, and here's the Cliff, the Magician, okay, with the Cups, the Pentacles, the Swords, the Wand, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, now usually there's two people, we have three with the uh, fairy type wings, very interesting. The chariot with the horses, of course. Strength with the lion. The hermit, that's a gorgeous card. So see, some of these are traditional looking tarot cards. Some are different, like this, the wheel of fortune, where she's with the spinning wheel. Justice, we have the scales. The hanged man. Death. Temperance, the devil, and the tower. So how interesting, how, how beautiful these cards are. They're very unique with the artwork, very satisfied with them. They'd be excellent for a beginner. Uh, they have the numbers and the words on them. Some are traditional looking, some aren't. Very, very nice mix of uh, details. Um, I'm glad that I purchased these. They'd be excellent for a professional. If you've enjoyed this uh, review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back with more.